Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so first of all, I need to say I'm deeply impressed. If I look on the motto of the boost and uh, this event, I think it's really deserved very well to shape the future world of digitization. You need to think big. And if I look in this arena, I think you demonstrate that. Who are why? Congratulations to this event. Pleasure to be here. So for the next few minutes, I want to share with you some perspectives from Deutsche Telekom, from Europe, but also from our strategic partnership with Huawei, how we see the world of make things happen, the pathfinder into the public cloud area. So with that, please follow me. And I want to start with a short reflection. And please forgive me, I'm a European to give you our interpretation, what we think, what's actually going on in Europe. And let me start with a statement. This continent slept in the first phase of digitization. To say it a little bit clearer, there are some people, they are saying, we lost the first half in Europe of digitization. We talked about that, we discussed that, but we lost the momentum a few years ago just to make that happen. But the good thing is, Europe is catching up. And we never faced such kind of a moment in the last years in peaceful times in Europe, where we faced such kind of a disruptive momentum in this continent. You, the customers, are not any longer happy with pilots. You are not happy any longer with nice showcases. You are asking us to give you the right tools, the right products, the right end-to-end -end services for your digital journey you need to make happen for your customers. And this is actually what we are reflecting in Europe. And if I look on small, medium enterprises, which have a lot of potential in Europe, especially also in Germany, they are demanding that. They are not open to spend a lot of money to test things, to invent things. They want to have it plug and play. They want to have it running. They want to have someone by their side they can use to teach them, educate, sometimes just provide them what they need on the highest level of quality, secure, and simple. If you just look on these numbers you see here on the screen, we see there is a potential, a high potential we can go for regarding double increase of data traffic and regarding connected devices. What kind of role are we playing as Deutsche Telekom test systems in that game? So let's have a look on that. We decided two years ago that we also want to be part of these digital leaders in the future who are serving customers from an end-to-end -end perspective, who are able to shape the cloud world, the IoT world, the big data world for customers. And I can tell you this is also one of the biggest transformation also in our company. We decided as one of the first telco providers two years ago to establish a digital division, which is a dedicated business unit where we have brought all together what we have in Deutsche Telekom as a strength for digital services and products. This is not always an easy thing for such kind of huge tankers to keep strengths and on the other side to start new things from scratch. At the Stanford University, they are discussing in the USA 
They are calling the old economy the blue one. They are calling the startup scene the new ones, the green ones. And they are discussing how can you grow in green if you are dark blue? How can you manage that in the right speed, with the right scalability, with the right service for your customers, not lose the momentum of the market? So it's also one of the biggest transformation for us in Deutsche Telekom. And we think we have a right to play. We are one of the strongest telco providers in Europe. We have a strong asset from a connectivity perspective in the US. And we have the systems international with IT capabilities plus integration, system integration. And by the way, this digital world is not a plug and play world. You, the customers, also need the stuff integrated, harmonized, and orchestrated. So we have strengths in connectivity, and we have strengths in IT. On top of that, we're putting the new skills. This also means to bring new people in the company, educate people, and come from totally different perspective when we are creating, designing, developing new products and services. How are we on our journey? What is the current status? And the good thing is, we are already, if we look on our cloud business, one of the bigger players around the globe. We have a 1.6 billion business already, and we are growing. And if you look on these numbers, we have more than 200 million customers. And if we say, let's step into IoT, big data, and everything which is needed for customers to define their digital journey and to create their new services and business models for customers, we have already answers because we have already more than 2 million cars connected. We have more than 6,000 experts in the company on automotive on mobility. So I think, yes, we have a right to play. But yes, we have also to learn every single day, because this is a journey. It will be a journey. And we are not so arrogant to say we are already there. But we are playing a role, and we have a strong ambition to play this role much stronger in the future. But we also learn one thing. Nobody will make it alone. I'm convinced on that. Open for every discussion and breaks. Nobody will make it alone. You need strong partnerships. And if I talk about strong partnerships, I'm not talking about announcement in newspapers. I'm talking about partnerships where we bring products and services in the right time to real life for customers. That is, from my perspective, exactly the partnership we need to go for. And we decided one and a half year ago that our first step in this digital world should be, let's be a strong player in cloud. So we created a cloud ecosystem. We have strong players around the globe, like Microsoft, like Cisco, software add-on services. We have built it up the stack on all layers, from infrastructure as a service to software as a service, plus integration and orchestration. And it was a learning curve for us, because we have more than 300,000 employees, and we are coming out of history from a mindset where we thought we can do everything by ourselves. And perhaps I make this statement, software development is not the core competence of Deutsche Telekom, and we learned that. And this was also the reason why we said, let's look for the right partners, strategic one, strong, complementary skills and capabilities, but, and this is very important, the right attitude and ambition. 
And we heard already in the morning when Ken said, put the customer and the centric, exactly that happened when we started our cooperation with Huawei. And now today, with this 1.6 billion business, private and public cloud, the Open Telecom Cloud we have developed together with Huawei is some of the hard pieces of our cloud portfolio. So Huawei is playing a very potential part in this cloud business for us. And when we started, we set it up three guidelines. Let's design and create a product with three parameters. First of all, just keep it simple. Nobody of us, and we are all customers, at the end of the day, we don't like it complex. We don't like it slow. If we want to order configurate cloud, we just want to have two, three, four clicks, pay, done. That's the expectation, nothing else. It must be secure. Let's come back to Europe for a second, especially in Germany and other countries in Europe. Security is important for them, especially for the smaller enterprises. They are asking for that. For them, it was a big hurdle to jump over into public cloud without the right answer regarding security. And we made that because we are able to run the Open Telecom Cloud in our secure data center around the globe. And we are also able to do that with data trust agreements where we are acting as a data trustee for big players and we can serve the customer on data security regulations based on Europe. And what I also like on this partnership is that it was just 12 months ago that we sat together and that we said, OK, on this guidelines based, let's attack the market of public cloud. 12 months ago, and this year on the CBIT we launched. So exactly that what Ken mentioned in the morning happened. Yes, we put the customer in the centric. We were fast enough. And we started with rapid prototyping, design thinking, not spending millions and millions in first pilots. We were quick enough. And we are proud. Proud together on both teams who made that happen. And we are bold enough to say we have an answer in infrastructure as a service to the leading US companies, and we are sure we will be successful. But we will not end here. In this world, whenever you are doing something, you need to have the next thing in your mind. This is also the reason why we are actually also discussing here and in a lot of meetings in the last months how to move forward. And as I mentioned before, in Deutsche Telekom, we have three topics of digitization. Cloud, I talked already about. Second one is IoT. Third one is big data. And if we see the demand in Germany on IoT, we are actually working together with Huawei on scalable products of IoT. Also simple, plug and play at the beginning, but can also mention at the beginning, at the end, it starts with data pooling, with data collecting. Then we are going to predictive maintenance, condition monitoring, track and trace. At the end of the day, the customers, you need intelligent data, diagnostic analytics. This is exactly what we are actually working on. We are working together with SAP, Huawei, and Deutsche Telekom for the next enterprise solutions we want to fall for, and high-performance computing is also on our list. So we will not stop here. We will move forward. Cloud is the trigger and the base for digitization, and this is the right base for us to push more on IoT, because with that, we have to, the end-to-end -end capabilities. And this is one of our ambitions, by the way, of Deutsche Telekom, IoT end-to-end -end services, one stop from one hand 
to our customers. You can say, oh, these guys are really ambitious. You can say, oh, are they tough? Yeah. Are they sometimes a little bit crazy? No, we don't think so. As I said before, I think we have an answer to the other strong leaders in the market, and I don't want to name them. We want to become one of the five top players around the globe, because with this partnership, we have put everything together, what we can bring from Europe and Asia to this market. We want to grow 20% per year, and we are thinking this is not an ambition. We are absolutely convinced that we can give a clear answer to the market and build things on top. So if we look at that, I think we have all the success factors, fast enough, customer-centric, innovative, agile, scalability. So it's not a question, can we do it? We have a clear answer, we will make it, and we're sure you will see that we will be successful. With that, I thank you for listening, wish you a nice boost, a lot of exciting things, and hopefully you will visit our Open Telecom Cloud. Thanks for listening.